Hey everyone, welcome back to Deeper Than Hair TV. Today we are going to make clip-in bangs. I know some of you have probably wanted bangs before but didn't quite want to commit or simply didn't even know how you would look in them. So today I'm going to show you how to construct them so you can take them on and off in an instant. Let's go. So I'm starting with a mesh wig cap. I got it from the beauty supply. You can pretty much get these from any beauty supply. Um, they're about $2. This is the, the one with the adjustable band. And I'm just going to put it on my mannequin head. Now I'm taking some ribbon that I purchased from Michaels. It was about a dollar or two, I guess. And I'm going to make a triangle starting five inches back. I'm going to take a T-pin and I'm going to hold them in place. Now you want to measure about 5 or 6 inches across depending on how wide you want your bang. Take two more T-pins and lock the ribbon in place. You do not have to get super expensive hair for this technique. Um, I paid $27 for this hair so I think if you're practicing you should start off on the low end anyway. You want to measure your hair so that it's a half inch longer on each side of the ribbon. I like to take a T-pin and hold the hair in place. It helps me out, but you don't have to do that, but it helps. I'm just giving you a little tip. Um, so now you want to take the hair and that half inch, do not sew it down. Just start sewing right at the outer base of the ribbon. going to do that again just remember not to sew that outer flap down just start at the base of the ribbon and go all the way to the other side to the base of the ribbon So now you're just going to do that over and over again until you run out of ribbon. So it's starting to come together. It's looking really good, but we still have a long way to go. If you get depressed easily, I'm pretty sure you turned this off by now. But if you're up for a challenge and you're crafty, let's continue on.
Next, we're gonna remove her from the mannequin and check her out and see how good we've done. It looks so professional on the inside. I love looking at it. The ribbon gives it like a perfect little guideline. I love how it looks. Now it's just time to cut off all the excess net. Look at that, the foundation is so solid and good and that means that you will definitely have longevity out of your clip and bangs. Now you just wanna take some hair bonding glue and you're going to take all the flaps that you left and fold them in and glue them to the net. The purpose for doing this is so that your hair can blend seamlessly along the edge and you won't have any exposed wefts. Now you're just gonna take one more piece of hair, about five inches long, and you want to apply a light layer of glue. Starting from the end, you wanna roll this weft as tight as possible. Once it dries, you want to flip it right side up and have the hair spread out evenly. And then take your flat iron and use the heat and the pressure to lock it into place. Once it's locked, then you can flip it upward and the hair will kind of create like a heart shape just take your heat and lock the heart shape in. <laughs> I hope I'm explaining this right, but watching it helps. You just created a closure. So most of the time when I see clip and bangs it's like either an exposed track on the top or it's like a hump and a line and I think that's kind of weird so I figured you can make a piece on top so you can't see anything at all so just take your glue apply a little bit of glue on here don't overdo it because it can get a little messy and then you're going to take it and put it right at the top of the rest of the lace that's left over Okay, so we're at the last step. Um, I'm gonna take these wig clips, two big and one small. They're by Andy, I got them from the beauty supply. We're gonna put the big clips at the bottom 
in the small clip at the top. and you are done. Now it's time to put them on and cut them. So I'm choosing to do my hair in a bun with this style, so I'm gonna take my ponytail holder and put it on. Um, please don't use ponytail holders with metal pieces and please don't use rubber bands. Don't let anybody tell you it's okay to use a rubber band on your hair. Take the two bottom clips and slide them in right at the hairline. And then take the top clip and clip it in at the crown. You can cut your bang on the mannequin, but I think it's smarter to just cut it on yourself. Um, and you can also cut your hair however you want to cut it. You can do it blunt. You can have wispies on the side. I chose to point cut mine because I don't want it too blunt or too sharp. Now I'm just pressing her with my nano iron. You can get this on deeperthanhair.com. People ask me about this iron all the time. It's one of my favorites. So the digital iron by Babeless. So now she is done and she is cute. And I hope you guys love this tutorial. Um, you can like fluff your bangs, you can open them up and wear them differently. Um, and it gives you a lot of versatility and the best part is you did not have to cut your hair. You could just take these right on and off whenever you need them. I wear them with ponytails, you can wear them with your hair down, you can put your hair in a bun. It's just the best thing ever everyone so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you make some bangs use the hashtag and you can hear it because i want to see it. bye